Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. As promised, today I'm creating a look using this brand new Sprint Eyeshadow Palette from Dior, and I am creating one of my favorite makeup looks for summer. Every year I look forward to this makeup style bronze skin, a warm orangey eye, and a bright coral lip. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this makeup look that you see right here, just keep watching. Just gonna tuck my hair back behind my ears before I fix it. It's extra floofy because I just had to walk Jasmine in the rain. Summer's definitely here in Miami, but I'm going to begin with eyes today. So I'm going to take just a teeny tiny bit of my concealer and I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. Just a quick dab. And I'm going to use that to prime my eyelids. It works out nicely that it's a bit lighter. That way any colors that we put on top will appear brighter. I'm going to be using my new Sprint palette from Dior. Go ahead and take those out because they're just going to fall all over the place. I want to start with this shade, but I've tried it. It didn't really work out. So instead, I am going to pull my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. I think this is just going to be a better place to begin. So with this little fluffy brush, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It's kind of a peachy brown, very lightly. And I'm gonna buff that in the crease and that's gonna be like our transition. Once that's nice and blended, then we can go into this Sprint eyeshadow palette and with a flat synthetic brush, this is a concealer brush from Chanel, an old concealer brush, I'm picking up this bright orange shade. So beautiful. Okay, and this is going all over the lid. In case you missed my review of this summer collection, I will link it down below, but I had a little trouble playing around with this palette the first time. I had to start from scratch. It became a disaster. I went in with this shade in the crease and it's so sheer that when you blend it out with a fluffy brush, it appears yellow on the eye. It just did not look very flattering. I think most of these shades are just better off on the lid. Ooh. I love how you can build up the color with this synthetic brush. With my original fluffy brush, I'm just gonna soften the crease. Now to build up a little depth and dimension in the outer V, I had tried going in with this dark shade and I'm going to do it again just to show you what it looks like. And maybe I'll have better luck because I'm using a different brush. not bad this time around. It's just not quite dark enough. You know, I actually don't mind it. It's not going to give you a ton of depth. I think if you wanted to go in with something a little bit darker, a little bit richer, you'd be better off going into one of these two date shades. Like yesterday when I was playing around with this look, I went in with this really dark shade. I think if you only had this palette or you just wanted to use this one palette, you could make that work, but you can't really build it up much more than that. This is kind of as dark as it gets. I'm gonna kinda tap. So see, this is as dark as it gets with Dior, but I can get a lot darker with this pillow top palette. And I think it's just a warmer brown. I'm going in with this, this guy right here. So you just get a little bit more impact and I think the color just complements that orange a little bit better. The deep brown in the Dior palette is almost cool toned. I 
have always loved orange eyeshadow. I just think it is so pretty and kind of different. You don't see it that much. You see a lot of golds and coppers, especially over the summer. But a vibrant orange, it just orange. <laughs> My husband always makes fun of me because I say orange and he says orange, orange, not orange, orange. I'm going to call this my Florida orange eyeshadow look, accent and all. Same fluffy brush. I'm picking up a little bit of that first peachy transition and I'm just going to buff a little bit more into the crease. So I'm taking this Shantikai eyeshadow. This is their luminescent eye shade. Soul is the color. This is no longer available, but I know Bobbi Brown had something similar. I'm sure Pat McGrath has something similar. Mac had something similar. So I will link all similar options down below, but I'm taking my little concealer brush and I'm picking this up. It's this pink and gold, really pretty shimmery shade. And I'm gonna pop that right in the center. Oh, you know what? It's actually better with fingers. <laughs> this mirror is so tiny. I'm struggling to even see. There's not a ton of fallout on my cheeks. I now have a little shimmer from that Shantikai shade, but I want to clean up this outer edge. Moving on for now to the face, I'm gonna use this Super Goop Glow Screen Primer. This has SPF 40, so it is so perfect for the summer. And it gives a gorgeous luminosity underneath makeup. Now I'm only using a generous dime size amount. If you wanted to get the full SPF 40, you'd have to apply a lot more, but at least you're gonna get a little something something. And then of course, if you're Planning on wearing this makeup to be outside, I would even go in with a foundation that has SPF. I would take one of those aerosol SPFs, like maybe the Kate Somerville makeup setting spray. And I'm using a medium coverage foundation today because I still wanna see a little bit of my skin shining through. I don't want a heavy, full face of makeup. I want my complexion to look really bronzy and luminous, but also show my freckles shining through. You can see just how much glow that glow screen has. Wow. It's pretty though. I really like it. I love the fact that it has some skincare as well. It's a lot, <laughs> but I think it's really pretty. It might be too much. I think it would look really pretty on the neck chest it, by itself. On the face, I think it's a bit much, but on those days that you're wearing next to nothing, you just want a little sunscreen, you could go in with your glow screen and then maybe just pat a little bit of setting powder in the T-zone or any areas that you wanna soften the glow. So for foundation, I picked out my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I am almost done with this bottle. It is so pretty and I like this because it's lightweight. It's kind of the perfect everyday foundation. I can always still see my skin, unlike the Airbrush Flawless, which I still love. This is just a little bit lighter and I am going to mix in a pump of my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Liquid Bronzer because I want to be Bronzed Goddess, mixing that on the back of my hand. I did sunless tan the other day and I used a new sunless tanner, Best Bronze. It's one of the clear tanners, which I've never used one of the clear mousses before. 
I didn't realize what a terrible job I was doing until the next morning and I woke up and I was so streaky. Like I missed a whole section of my neck. This part is tanned, this part is not. My hands look terrible. My feet look worse than they ever have, but also just my body's stripy. It's extra zebra. I made a list of sunless tanners that I'm going to review very soon. I'm excited, that's gonna be a fun video because I cannot wait to compare all of the colors and truly see side by side what the difference is between them. So thank you all for your suggestions and recommendations. I know I asked you guys to submit what sunless tanners you'd like to see. And if you haven't done so already, drop me a comment. Let me know what your favorite sunless tanner is and I'll add it to the list. The liquid bronzer makes such a difference. Now my face is a perfect match for my chest. Whereas before, if I just went in with the foundation and I use shade 6.75 medium, I mean, that's pretty deep. It's still a little bit too light when I have a sunless tan. For concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. It's pretty light, but it does oxidize, so I find that once it's blended out, it's really not terrible. I just can't use too much. I feel like less is more in this case. I have a lot of glow going on, so I'm going to set with a matte loose powder. This is the Givenchy Poudre Premiere Matte and Translucent Finish. I love this powder. It's so light, finely milled. I'm gonna do my best to only set the under eye and T-zone. I don't really wanna set the entire face. Whoops. Cause I wanna maintain some of that radiance. Okay. I just pulled out a different bronzer because I haven't used this in a while and it's nice and dark. So this is the Sunset Le Beige Bronzer that came out with the Summer of Glow collection from Chanel. I'm going to take my trusty Chanel bronzer brush and I'm going to use this. This bronzer is nice and luminous as well, so it's perfect for the look today. The bronzers that came out with the Color Games collection from Dior are both matte. And I picked up the lighter shade. I don't mind the color, but it really is not going to work for bronze goddess makeup. You need something that's really deep, maybe maybe luminous. You know, I think the darker version would probably be fine. But the one I got is just a little bit too light. This Lay Beige powder is basically a luminous Lay Beige. <laughs> which I believe those are 58 and this one was 65. But this one has a rope pattern embossed on top and it has the little nautical rope on the outside too, so gotta pay for that. For blush, I'm going to use Evening Beige. This is one of the new blushes that I picked up because I think this will be so pretty with our very bronze glowy complexion. So nice. I honestly don't feel like I need highlighter because I have that glow screen, which is giving me tons of luminosity. I am going to do just a little bit. This is one of my favorite highlights. This is from Illamasqua, it's the shade OMG. And I'm gonna do just a touch right on the top of my cheeks. I cover my body with this highlighter. Whenever I take pictures to post on Instagram, I dust this all over my chest. I go in with a giant brush, I think I used this one, and I'll just dust it everywhere because the highlight is somewhat soft and it ends up photographing really well. It seems crazy you know, to dust highlighter all over your body, but trust me, especially if you ever have an event where you're gonna be taking photos, if it's in the evening where you're only going to see you know hints of light 
it looks really nice to just kind of go crazy depending on the highlighter with this highlighter it works it's one of my tricks of the trade <laughs> to look extra glowy i just rub it everywhere brows are now done so let's finish the eyes i'm taking this teeny tiny precision brush and i'm going back into this palette picking up this really beautiful pink and i'm going to line the lower lash line but only the inside definitely the inner tear duct and then i'm taking it in about halfway i love this shade of pink too it's almost like a bubble gum really pretty and different from a lot of the pink eyeshadows that we've seen. I know I hear from a lot of people who say they are so over pink eyeshadow, but this color is a little bit different and we're just popping a little bit on the lower lash line. And you could skip this. You could do a different color, a different pop if you wanted to. When I call this my favorite summer look, I really just mean the orange eyes, bronze glowy skin and bright coral lip any little tweaks totally up to you i think you can really play around and have fun with it so pretty taking a pencil brush i'm going into the orange and i'm going right underneath ah! i got so much dust in my eye <laughs> let's try that again i'll run that underneath the lower lash line from the outside working my way in to meet up with that pink. This next step is optional, but I'm taking this very old Lancome waterproof eyeliner. Unfortunately, this is no longer available, but it's a really pretty burnt gold. If you have any other gold liner that would work, I'm putting this in the waterline. For top liner, I want to stay away from black. I want to keep the look a little bit soft, warm, smoldering, not harsh. So I'm going in with this bronze eyeliner from Chanel. This is 522. I believe it's called Bronze Doré. It's supposed to be a limited color, but it is still available on the website. The fun thing about the bronze eyeliner is I feel like I can wing it out really far and it doesn't look nearly as dramatic as with black eyeliner. It's coming together, almost done. I am picking up a different eyeshadow brush going into this pale shade and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone. doesn't have any shimmer but I think it actually works to our benefit because we have a lot of luminosity going on mascara is now done the eyes are done the last step is lips so I have two products here and this is what really makes the entire look stand out I think you could do a really soft simple eye something totally different but as long as you went in with a bronzy glowy complexion and you paired it with a similar lip you would achieve the essence of this overall look. It's very beachy, very summer, kind of hot, tropical, night on the town type of look. So I'm going in with Dazzle. This is 146, the Rouge Coco Flash. I love how bright and happy this lipstick is and it applies really easily. I think it's fine by itself, but I am going to add just a touch of this duochrome coral gloss from Natasha Denona, mainly in the center. The gloss is slightly minty, so you get just a hint of plumping as well. I think it's just the perfect final step. It kind of ties in the pink and then the sparkly eyeshadow we added on top. Just brings everything together. 
the entire look is shiny which is another reason why I think it helps to go in with that matte eyeshadow from the pillow talk palette at least in the crease everything else has so much shimmer if we did all shimmer on the eyes it might be a little bit too much I don't know I'm gonna go on top with that pink shade I just fixed my hair since it was kind of crazy from getting rained on earlier today. But that completes today's makeup look. Overall, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And we have our SPF 40 underneath it all, so it is truly perfect for summer. Glowy, bronzy, warm tones, the coral lip. This is just my ideal makeup look. I think you could change it up to make it really nice for evening. You know, you could go a little bit smokier or you could go a little bit lighter for daytime. You can really tweak and customize every step we did today to make this look right for you and right for any occasion. So I'm sure I will be living in some variation of this look for the foreseeable future, at least the next couple months. But who am I kidding? Summer never ends in Miami. This will be my look through December when it is still 80 degrees outside, <laughs> hot and humid. This morning it was raining. It rained all night, it's raining all weekend. It's still so hot outside, hot, muggy, humid, and rainy. It's the tropics, what can I say? That completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on the makeup look. Maybe tell me what your favorite look is for summer, favorite products. Drop me a comment. We'll keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face, down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.